Hello, so welcome to this video. Today I'm going to go through writing out some equations. So we're going to start with the full formula equation. So this may or may not involve you having to work out which is the solid or which is the liquid. For the example I'm going to go through today, I'm going to tell you which one is the solid or the liquid and the rest will be aqueous. And then we're going to go to the full ionic and then we're going to go to the net ionic. Okay, so this one here, we have silver nitrate and sodium sulfide, and they're going to swap their partners and produce a silver sulfide, so AGS, and a sodium nitrate, so NaNO3. Now, I haven't balanced this yet, but I've just kind of written up the um, compounds, so they may or may not be given to you in the question. So let's assume we're told which one's the solid um, for showing you how to write these formulas. So we've got um, two silver here, so I've put a two out the front here, and that means we've got two nitrates as well. So I'm going to need two nitrates on this side, and then I've got two sodium, and I've got two sodium here. So now this is balanced. So this is our full equation. Um, or our complete. Now we're going to write our full, out, full ionic one. So anything that's aqueous, we're going to split into the ions. So the cations and the anions, so positively charged, negatively charged species. And the one that's the solid is going to stay the same. So you can see now I've split up the silver and the nitrate and we've got two of each one of those so I've carried through the twos out the front to keep everything balanced. Two sodiums, one sulfate, a uh, sulfite. Uh, then I've got my silver sulfide that I've kept because that's the solid and then I've got sodium and then I've got the nitrate so carrying down the two as well. So this is my complete ionic. Uh, this is my full formula, uh, or you might know it as the molecular. And now I'm going to show you how to write the net ionic. So with this one here, we want to look at our complete ionic and see what species are not changing from one side to the other. So I'll get another colour. Uh, let's go green. And let's see what's not changing. So we've got an NO3 minus and we've got an NO3 minus. That's not changing, color's not changing. Try this one, that's better. So NO3 minuses, they're not changing, we can cancel them out. Um, the Na plus, Na plus, that's not changing. What is changing is the silver and the uh, sulfite to make our silver sulfite. So they're the ones that would be in the net ionic. So writing that down the bottom, so keeping those AQs and the solids in there, and that would be your net ionic equation. So depending on whether or not um, you've got a solid or a liquid or aqueous components to this will depend on how that net comes out at the end, but for this example here, this is how you would do the three types of equations. 